Hey guys, Rylan Russell here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you 10 free name card animated templates that I've developed myself and designed in ProPresenter 7 that I'd just like to give to you guys for free. And uh, I'm gonna walk you through kind of how to set those up once you download them, maybe some use cases for them, just the different designs that I've come up with to show you the examples. And in the description of this video, I'll put a link to uh, get this download, all you have to do is give me your email address, sign up for that, and you'll get an email back with this template. So let's dive into ProPresenter 7. All right, so here we are in ProPresenter 7. I've got the animated title cards template right here that you will receive whenever you download the file. So th your template that you'll get will have no backgrounds or anything like that and these will have the alpha channel embedded. Now, today I'm gonna to show you how these would look on, you know, your, your live video, just with some stills that I've pulled in for each one. And so I've designed each one of these to kind of have a different flavor, a different taste. We utilize a lot of After Effects templates and then render out an alpha channel, but I know not everybody you know is is comfortable with after effects even using templates or maybe you don't even have the adobe suite this is all built into pro presenter 7 the only thing that you'll need is whatever font you want to use and the other great thing is that you can go in and update the text of these you know live if you have a different speaker that's coming up to speak that day you don't have to go into after effects and and you know render out a new thing so let's look at these the first thing I want to point out is that I have one that will automatically do the build in and the build out after a certain amount of time. And then I also have the same thing where it's a clickable version where you build it in and then when you're ready for it to leave, you build it out. So let's just look at this first one. I'm just utilizing the built in pro presenter different animations with different timings. And so here in just a moment, you'll see that it will automatically build out after I think maybe 10 seconds or so. All right. And so then we have the same thing where we can click on it, build it in. And then if we zoom in here, it should, there we go, build back out whenever I click it. All right, so that's version number one. I like this second one here, it's really modern looking to me. Uh, it's got the Pragmatica extended font that you can download for free. And let's watch it build in here. Using that little line to wipe the title of the person in and then it'll go back out now. There you go. All right, I'm not gonna do the timed ones for the rest of the video, I'll just show you these quickly. I'll show you Jane Doe's here. Pretty simple, but it's really clean and that'll work on top of all kinds of different videos. There's no color. All these you can go in and adjust the color. Uh, I didn't build that one out, sorry. This is just a simple wipe down and then it'll wipe back up when you click it and tell it to. Um, here's one with the title below, kind of builds out and then down. We're ready for it to leave, it goes in reverse. One on the right side instead here, same kind of idea with the shape wiping over the name to reveal and then in reverse. And then here's a simple one where it's just a name plate with a shadow that comes on. Uh, just trying to make a super simple animation here for you. And here is a single box version instead of dual box with a gradient color. You can adjust to whatever your branding colors are. Click it again, it goes back out. Uh, this one right here is a little more involved Let's watch it. It's got the logo as well. So you can change that to whatever your icon is. It builds in the name, the title, some other lines, some other shapes built in as well. This is all set to predetermined time values. Now, if we click it 
and watch it build out. Everything flies away, shapes go away, logo and the other shape. And the last one here is a centered look with your uh, nameplate just in the middle. And so if we look at this one, it just reveals from the bottom and then it's gonna go away whenever I click it. There you go. All right, so that is the 10 different free nameplates and you can adjust those however you want. Obviously go in and change the names and the titles, that's easy. You'll need a couple of fonts if you want them to look exactly like this, but you can use whatever fonts you want. The main thing is that I've kind of taken all the pre-work out of it as far as the timings and the build-ins and, and what to do, because you know that takes some time to do. So now let's go in and edit a slide like you're doing it live for the first time. Let's go into this uh, John Smith one. And let's say that you got this and you want to adjust this bottom box's branding colors. You can come over to your shape and change your, you know, your gradient to whatever you want it to be. Maybe it's a red and an orange. And then you need to adjust John Smith. It's easiest if you click down here on, turn myself off on these little boxes here to get what you need to get. And let's just say that it is Bob Vance. So something I've done here, I don't know if you saw that, is that no matter what size your name is, it's going to uh, scale it down. So Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration <laughs> could be in there. Obviously that's a little long, but it will scale it down. And then we have Lead Pastor, uh, refrigeration. <laughs> and then now if we see Bob's nameplate here. Builds in. Bob Vance. Refrigeration. We click. It goes out. Builds back out. All for you. Now many of you guys might not already have the alpha channel and key set up. If you're streaming out of ProPresenter 7, then this is already ready for you to do. But if you're sending Alpha and Key and you're not already doing that, uh, there's lots of videos out there. You're gonna need certain equipment to be able to do that or use NDI feeds. These are set up for that method. If you do, however, do things over like chroma keying, uh, we could do that as well. So if we go in here to that same slide, all you're gonna wanna do is go into, I believe it's the slide and you would choose the background. And you're going to want to choose, if you go to that right there, this little picker and then you choose this green, that's gonna give you a good chroma key. So, uh, you have that ability as well. I didn't make any of them that color, so that way, you know, you could send a chroma key version of this out if you want to. All right, guys, so I hope that this helps you out. I know whenever I first started trying to create nameplate title cards, it was a little confusing, and I'm always about, like, if I can find a template or find somebody else that's already done it and just reutilize it, why not, right? So uh, click that link below. And also, if you're gonna use these, I'd love it if you would just like this video, maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm always doing stuff like this as a worship and tech pastor, uh, just to help other guys out and uh, document the journey of what I'm doing here at Central. So remember, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do them all for the right reasons. See you in the next one.